Mal will be pleased. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. The autopsy will confirm it one way or another. I think our work is done here. You should speak to her doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised his humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. Stoneman, Office 505. I 
I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Yes, sir, your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, Detective. How well did you know Ms. Randall? Barely at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, Detective? Do you have access to my patient records? Your prescriptions contradict you, Doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I told her to slow up, but no. Life was too short for her. And you supplied the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. We'll be in touch. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? Any messages? Yes, Detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. said she was dead. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. You're behind the wheel. Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got something to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. 
until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. Detectives Phelps and Earl here to see the coroner. Yes, Detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. Look, that's the latest thing. The early bird gets the worm. Cole, Roy, I have some information for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Captain's making me resubmit the paperwork. His mother would be proud of him, catching all those criminals. Arnett is an interview too, Phelps. Go help him get whatever it is off his chest. Beat her up so bad. I found him. Turned to save Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Burrow. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. He's asking whether you banged her in a Chuck on the shoulder fraternity kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. This will remain private. Heather won't have to know. Yes, we had relations. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Henry, I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got me. I don't know where he's from. Julia wanted money. She always wanted money. She thought she could get something this guy. She was wearing a distinctive engagement ring. You think she might have convinced him to buy it for her? Maybe he did, yeah. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. 
Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. Guy was going to write his own mother after I sweated him. Some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. Fighting 6th. You were in the 6th Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. He's in that car at the lights. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. God damn it. Everyone's looking at us, Colt. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. Where are you taking us, Henry? never stepped foot in Okinawa. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. 